Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we are going to be getting the Vengeful One and Questionable Ethics Batch. So, let's, uh, let's start with that. I forgot to join a private server. Give me a second. So, to get the questionable ethics badge, we have to go to the main lab and complete all four of the tests, trials. Hold on, my Roblox is muted. Uh, I'm pretty sure we don't need the computer room in this one, actually. And, um... Let's get started. So, we're gonna wanna start off as usual and go to 132 to get our first code. Uh, we just have to wait for the next event to happen, which is every minute, I'm pretty sure. And we will be teleported to the office. Alright, there we go. You can see our number is 2. And then we have to wait again. And now that that's done, we can go to 151 and get our colors and our number, which will both be useful. As we can see, our color is red, green, yellow, green. And our code is six. Alright, now, once we have our second code, we are going to go to containment A, which is 135, and we can input our colors, turn on the electricity, which will be needed for the main lab, and we will get our code.
All right. Our code is number three. And we will input our other code. As well, I believe we will need our color code later, but translate into numbers. I believe red is one, blue is two, green is three, and yellow is four. I may be wrong about that, but we will see when we get there. It is some combination of the sort where one is definitely red and yellow is definitely four. I can tell you that. Now that we've done that, we will go and get our final code in containment B, which is 152. Right, now that we're at this containment, uh, we can see our last number is 7. Now after this, we'll be getting our key cards so that we can turn on the water and enter the main lab. Uh, now that we have our numbers, uh, I'm not really sure if we need to enter them, but uh, might as well find out the order anyway. So, 2, 6, 3, 7. 3, 2, 6, 7. Oh, nice. 3, 2, 6, 7 is the door code. I suggest saving these codes as we will need them later. Now that we have those, uh, we if we go to 197, which is the control room, which you just have to wait to find it, um, or you could teleport there, force the event to happen like I am, or all this is just required waiting. You do not need the menu, the menu in the bottom right to complete this achievement. It will just take. 5,000% longer as you have to wait to be teleported to every single room. Alright, now that we're here, what we do is we run over here, we take our keycard level 1, make sure to open this, we come up here, and we take our disk. This code will be used later to translate our minigame code. Uh, our trials code, minigame code, whatever you want to call it, into numbers for later use. Alright, once we have our card one, uh, we need to play this disc. Play a disc, you grab the screwdriver next to the code pad, and unlock this. Now, as we play this disc, I think there might be shaking or something of the short. Maybe the lights turn off. And then after that happens, we go to Offex Complex 3, which is 187. Took me a while to get. Um, and then once we get there, uh, we will be going into the storage, getting our second disc and a battery which we do not need uh, for what we are doing but with our key card level one we can open office 3b get our level two key card right here um and then we can go to storage which 
uh, yeah, we need to because we need this red disc to open up the the water for our main lab. We do not need this battery. I picked it up because it was just there, and we might as well. And then we just wait to be teleported back, as we need nothing else here, currently. Alright. Now that we got our level 2 keycard, we'll be going to the headquarters, which is 212. Again, have to wait for it if you don't have this, and have the room unlocked. Because in order to be teleported to the rooms, you have to have been there at least once before. And then once you've been there at least once before, you can enter the code, and you'll be teleported there. Now, we can ignore the rooms on the left and the right. Those are completely useless. What we can do is we can enter this room and grab this disc will give us a hint on this code. But since we're here, we might as well try and enter a code. So let's try and enter one of the codes. It's not correct, but it was worth a shot. So now we just wait to go back so we can play this disc so we can get a hint on the code. Alright, once we're back here, we will be playing our blue disc. And we will wait for the speaker to come on. And while the speaker is on, we might as well place in our other disc, as it will open up the valve room for us later. And I think it may save time. So this will give us a little bit of lore, and we just have to wait for the hint near the end of the message. And there we go. There is the hint that we needed. Unfortunately, I do not know the code on his desk, so I will need to do some math. It's very annoying.
So once we have that good, we can wait for our disk to enter. Doesn't matter. And we will go to the headquarters. Once again, to try and enter the correct code. Alright, here we are. We kind of need to go fast, as I still have to figure out that code, and I do not want to be here twice. Six minus four, that's two. Uh, two minus seven, that is negative five. Uh, two times three minus one is five. 3 plus 1 plus 2 is 6 divided by 4 is not an even number. Uh, hmm. I guess it's 1.5. 5, uh, five eight, one, seven. Right, We'll just try 5, 8, 1, 7. I doubt that is it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. Hold on here, give me a second. I believe I have the code somewhere. Just give me a second. I must go look for it. I apologize. Nine zero three two is the answer, I am pretty sure. And that's once we are here the third time. We can take our safe code, which is 9032. In this situation, there is multiple other uh, codes, which you can ask me in the comments, as I do not feel like telling you all of them. So 9032 is our safe code. Uh, and we can take our tier 3 card, which means we are almost done. All right, now that we have that, we must go back to uh, room 152 as we need to turn on the water.
I got teleported to a minigame instead, which is actually surprisingly useful. Um, pink, red, red, blue. Oh no, it's pink, red, red, pink, blue. Alright. Uh, pink, um, red, pink. Yeah, red, pink, red, red, red. Alright, let me just find the code. It's really annoying, but hey. Alright, that should finish us our minigame. Sadly, we will have to do more. Anyway, I believe we should teleport to the place I asked. Yes. Now, once we've input that red disc, uh, from roughly five minutes ago, uh, we can break down this wall with our bodies, because it is cracked, and we can turn on the water. And then we have to wait to leave again. Sorry, I like breaking this wall, it's very entertaining. Okay, I've hit 1,000 minutes in this game. I have no life. Alright, now once we've turned the water on, there is one last code we need. So, we will need to complete one set of mini games, or if you've complete them all, just get kidnapped once. Once that has happened, we have completed one set of minigames. Uh, it will tell us the law, the emergency protocol code for the computer. We do not need it for the computer. We need it for something else. All right, I have to find gyms. This one is super hard for no good reason, and I hate myself. end up missing like one it's really annoying so let's try not to do that sounds like a good idea to me all right we got them all which completed that mini game so there is max two more mini games we need to complete Although I think it's only one more, as I think I completed the other ones, or that might have been it, honestly. There's four mini games. There's the pill one, which you just saw me do. There is a file sender, I guess you would call it. There is park there was an obby which is th this one and then the last one hold on this obby it's easier to set your graphics quality low as some of this stuff is very dark and you can barely see it and they're stud jumps so all right I believe we have paperwork left. I don't remember doing that one. And the the final one, other than paperwork, pill, obby, is... Um, I can't seem to recall it. Uh, 
Hmm. All right, I guess we have paperwork left to do. Hit with paperwork. Uh in the number that you have to send it to. It's either this one or this one, and it is not, they have to be on the same line. So if this is Y3, seven to two, the code says correct one. It said Z91, and since that is not on that one, we know it's this one. T3, since it's not six, it's one. Z6, uh, that is the 7, so it's 7 to 2. Alright, T22 on 4, so it's 4 to 4. Uh, Y03, that's 8 to 3. Uh, H82 on number 2, so that's 2 to 2. Wait, no, that's 1. 1 to 1, 6 to 1. Right, uh, Z20, that's 2 to 2. Uh, Z23, that's 4 to 4. Uh, Y9, that's 8 to 3. And that should complete us our mighty game, hopefully. Y81, that's 1 to 1. Alright, that completes our mini game. That was harder than the first one. Uh, the first mini games people usually get because I've completed a couple sets before this and it gets harder every set you complete. So as you complete to all four mini games, uh they will all four become harder and you have to complete all four of them again. And that will give you the badges for the true ending. As we can see we completed a set and Shadow here. Well, actually, I think this is Ghost. The ghost, Shadow, I don't know. Shadow here will tell us uh, useless information, and then we will get the code we need for the questionable ethics badge and the vengeful one badge. I believe correctly. So it's in M N M L. Let me turn my graphics back up. All right. Now, once we have that code, we take the screenshot that I had. Which hold on. I believe it is this one. Nope, not that one. All right, is this one here? We take our code here and translate it to numbers here. So we have seven five seven five. We have seven seven five seven. Uh, and then eight. All right. Now, once we have all of our codes, our L3 card, the water turned on, the power turned on, we can go to our main lab, which is 196. Alright, once we're here, finally at our main badge, we can see we have our power here and our water here. We can take our L3 card and put it in the slot. We can come in here. Now for here, we see our keypad, which our keypad color was 3267. So that is done, it will drain that and uh, kill that guy. As we can see here, this is our colors number, which should be 1343. No. Um, so it was red, 
screen. Uh, so it's one, two, four, two. Because red is one, green is two, blue is three, and yellow is four. Over here is our safe code, which was 9032. All right. And then once we have that, we enter our minigame code from the wall, which is 7578. And we get our ending. As we can see, this was once a beautiful place of scientific research and no wrongdoing. Until the anomalies got out. That should grant you the two badges that I promised. Alright, and then that'll do it for this episode of getting every badge as, well, those are the badges. I'm pretty sure I promised nothing else, and that is all we have, but I will take a double check as pop-ups pop up on the screen if that wasn't everything. You know what? I'll throw in an extra badge. The Broken Record Badge. We're getting the white disc. It is event 231. You have to wait for it. And then in the middle of the room, a white disc will start floating up. Just grab it and play it. And you will get the badge. So we wait for event 231. As you can see, we just grab the disc. Uh, remember to open the CD drive. And we input our disc. That should give you the badge. which I think plays that glitch sound and nothing else. Anyway, thank you for watching on how to get these badges. Uh, the video will be ending now. Goodbye.